I've had the opportunity to use and sell thousands of office chairs. The $300 and under price point is the most challenging to find solid options that will work for most people, so I made a list of my favorite picks for under 300 bucks. When I made this list a year ago, my number one pick was the Clatina Millette. Now things have changed a bit in the year since I reviewed this chair, and it's no longer my number one go-to, but it's still a very solid pick under $300 and well deserving of this list. The thing that we have to think about with $300 chairs is you can't get everything, and usually you can only focus on one thing, whether it's the looks of the chair, the build quality of the chair, or the adjustment package. When looking at the Millette, the draw to this chair is going to be the number of adjustments and the fact that they mimicked the design after the Steelcase Leap. Now, from a component quality standpoint, it's nowhere near the Leap, but from a functional standpoint, it's pretty close. You get the same recline, you get multi-dimensional arms, you get a seat slider, and you get adjustable lumbar. Another bonus is that you get a really nice headrest on the Millette, one of the most comfortable headrests I've ever used. But there are considerable downsides that move this from my number one pick to just a pick for a select group of people, mainly medium to shorter users. If you're taller, the seat depth is going to be a problem because it creates a massive gap between the back of the seat and the backrest, which is uncomfortable for most people. The branch task chair goes in a little bit different direction than the Clatina Millette, and instead of trying to cram as many adjustments as possible into the chair, they selected a few core adjustments. Seat height adjustment, tilt lock, tension, arm height adjustment, and then a lumbar adjustment. It's not overwhelming, but it keeps the chair feeling pretty solid and well built for the price point. I think that this is Branch's most comfortable chair for tasking, much more so than the ergonomic chair that they sell for more money. This isn't going to be a chair that you buy for the looks, and it might be a problem for those of you that really want a lot of adjustments because it's going to have trouble adapting to everyone, but if you're looking for a decent overall chair, this might be it. While the Branch Task Chair isn't a chair that you buy because of the looks, the Branch Daily Chair is. Now, first and foremost, this is not a chair that I would recommend using for any more than two, maybe four hours at a time. This is not an ergonomic tasking style chair, but the reason that I picked it is that this can be a very nice option for those of you that are looking for a good looking home office chair that you don't use all of the time. It's affordable, the seat cushion is pretty good, the backrest provides ample support, and I don't hate the armrests. The one major downside is going to be for tall people just because the backrest is so short and the seat dimensions may be a bit limiting. The Hayworth Assure is going to be the only chair on this list that comes from one of the major brands in office seating, and that's going to be the number one draw to this chair. You get Hayworth's really good five-year warranty, and you also get to deal with Hayworth's team if you need to service the chair, which is definitely an advantage compared to companies like Clatina, where we've heard lots of reports of customers not being able to get their warranty issued, return service, the whole nine yards. The Assure also feels like the most solid chair on this list, and that's probably due to it being one of the least adjustable options, but it's still adjustable enough, in my opinion, to compete with these other chairs. You get seat height adjustment, seat depth adjustment, tilt lock, and arm height adjustment. I feel that the seat on this chair is the most comfortable out of this list, and you do have soft arm pads. The one downside, obviously, is the lack of adjustments, and it is a little bit bigger of a chair, so if you're smaller, I'd probably go with the Branch Task, but if you're a little bit bigger, the Assure could be a nice option. The final chair we're going to look at is my number one chair pick for under $300, and ironically, this is usually the lowest priced chair out of all of the options we've looked at, regularly selling for around $150 to $200. But this chair just provides insane value with the adjustment package that you get and the comfort on the chair. You get seat height adjustment, multi-direction arms, multi-direction lumbar, and a two-way adjustable headrest. The recline is really deep and it feels smooth. And when you do recline, the headrest is well positioned and soft to use. I also really like the seat. It's not going to hold up forever, but for me, I could definitely sit in this chair for six to eight hours a day and be happy with it. The major downside is obviously going to be the overall quality of the components and the very short warranty. In order to have this many adjustments, you cannot have super high-end components and still achieve this price point. So you are rolling the dice that the chair is going to break down, but the replacement cost is so low and the comfort is so high that I think it's definitely worth it.